All right, so I got the guitar, or the top off of the guitar on that uh, special 12 string uh, that I'm working on. Um, I was able to get the bridge off in one piece, and I got all the bracing off on the back, and I marked where all of it was so that uh, when I make the new top, I'm going to use the old bracing and put everything back uh, where it was on the original. Um, Luckily, all the bracing and everything was there, and it wasn't damaged too bad. So, um, I'm trying to use as much of this original stuff for this as I can. Um, then over here is the body, the rest of it sitting there. Um, I had to cut the fretboard off right there. I was going to pull the neck, um, but now I don't know if I'm going to. The neck needs some work. Um, as you can see right there, it's got it's cracked. Um, but I mean that's an easy fix. I just thought it might be easier with the neck off, but I'm kind of thinking now I'll leave the neck on so I don't got to worry about. Hopefully, don't have to worry about um, adjusting the neck angle and stuff. So um, I'm going to use the original top as a pattern for the thickness and uh, everything else. So I'm hoping to put it back pretty much exactly the way it was. Um, the only issue I think I'm going to have is this binding was really old and brittle. Um, so a lot of it rusted when I was taking the top off. Um, so I think I'm just going to finish taking that off too, all the way around. And um, I'll just replace it once I get the new top on. Um, I've never, honestly, never routed for binding. Um, so I'm not real sure how that's going to work. Um, also, I'm not real happy with the lack of kerfing on the top. They had it on the bottom, but not the top. So I think I'm going to um, put some additional kerfing on there, um, just for a little added strength. And I think I might even put some, uh, put about five braces uh, vertically um, on both sides to kind of help reinforce it also. Um, yeah, so that's where it's at for now.